How's it going, everyone? Sean here from Raw Technique Studios. I'm currently mixing a song for somebody, and I have an issue that came up that I think should be addressed because it's something that could happen uh, when you're mixing a song, and you're not sure what key the beat is in. Uh, this beat has a couple issues that I'm not a big fan of, like the low end, the 808, and the kick are just smashing through. It sounds like they used a limiter to just get as much volume as possible and it really disrupted the dynamics of the kick and just like gave it a really clipped sound. Um, you can see there are soft parts and then loud parts but I felt like the mix could have been better on the beat. But we're stuck with the two tracks so that doesn't matter. What we're trying to do is figure out the key of the beat here and there's several different tools to find that out and one of them is auto key. So let's see what that one says. So I, I can't let you hear the beat because I'm mixing it for somebody who hasn't released it yet, but I'm just gonna show you what it's saying right here. So it was saying D major at times, it was saying A minor at times, but let's just try it again. So it's gonna listen to it. It's gonna say A minor at first because that's what it clearly sounds like in the beginning. It sounds like an A minor chord progression. And then as it goes, See, it starts changing. Now it's saying it's in D, mi D major, which it's not, but now it's back to A minor. And then it looks like it's hanging out. Now back to D major. So the problem is that the beat's not actually changing keys. Now it's saying G major at the end. Uh, it's not actually changing keys. So that makes it an issue when you're trying to tune vocals. So I'm trying to tune some vocals here, and the original tuner was set to like C major. Um, the, this one is saying A minor, D major, G major, and then there's another tool that I usually like this one a lot, but I ran it through and it's saying it's in G minor, which it's not as well. So something with this beat is just throwing all of these uh, softwares off. So the best way to do it is to go ahead and grab a piano and just play a scale in. All right, so that's the A minor scale. And as I listen to the B, I'm playing that scale to see, do those notes match up? Are there any clashes throughout the B? So I started off by playing the chords because it's an A minor progression. It starts with that chord and then goes down to that chord. And then it switched it up. I believe it, it did that one again, but it had a different bass note. And then it comes back to like A minor, something like that, but it's all in A minor. And uh, I was playing the scale along with it. All right, I just mess around. I, I end up doing little like melodies and stuff as I play scales to make sure it fits with it. Uh, if you don't know your scales, the most popular ones are minor and major. Minor, you could go ahead and look up the patterns, but it's simply, uh, no matter where you start on the keyboard, this is the pattern that it's gonna be. So you start here. So pick any key that you wanna start with. I'm gonna start with A. And then you go a whole step. So that means uh, every single key is a half step. So if it's a whole step, you're gonna skip a key and then you go to the next one. So that's a whole step, and then you go half step, and then you go whole step, a whole step, half step, whole step, and whole step. And that brings you back to A. And you could do that pattern on any starting point on the keyboard, and that'll give you the minor scale. For a major scale, it's gonna go start with your root note, and then you go a whole step, and then you go a whole step, and then you go half step, and then you go a whole step, and then you go a whole step, and another whole step, and then a half step. And that's your major scale. All right, so I have it up here on the screen so you can see the pattern, but that's how you can figure out your major and your minor scales. Just go ahead and find the root note of the beat that you're playing. Just go ahead and listen to the beat. Play through each key until you figure out what note is the root, which is the starting point. It's usually the first chord, but not always, but most of the time it's first chord or the bass note of the first downbeat. That's usually the root note. And then uh, once you have that, play one of those patterns. Try the minor one first, because that's more common. And if that doesn't work, try the major one. And if that works, cool, you know the key of the song, and then you can start playing it in on your uh, tuners. So I ended up playing through. It is an A minor, which the auto key knew for the first part, but got confused for some reason throughout here. For some reason, it's hearing uh, D major, which has an F and a C sharp in it. 
but this one, it doesn't have an F and C sharp in it. So something's throwing it off. Sometimes these aren't trustworthy. Usually they work. Uh, the auto key, it works pretty good most of the time. The key finder, which is free, uh, this one usually works like 95% of the time. I usually get it no problem working. But the one that never fails is manually going in and playing through the scales and figuring it out yourself. That one always works. And then also once you start tuning your vocals in that key that you set, you'll start hearing if it's in or out uh, with the beat. So something that comes up often, hopefully that helps you uh, go about this process. You might be able to get lucky and just have the key finder, which is free. You can just download it, type in key finder on Google and uh, you'll find it within the first page. Auto key, that came with AutoTune Pro when I bought it, so that's why I have that one. And then just finding out the scales and everything, uh, memorize your scale patterns and just figure it out like that. So hopefully that helped. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.